All right. What I'm going to teach you trying to do today is using your M Audio Fast Track Mark II with Logic Pro 9. Okay. Um, first thing you want to make sure is that you have your audio set up correctly. So you're going to go to output. Um, that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you're going to change it to M Audio Fast Track. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm just using my. Uh, microphone, which isn't through my fast track, obviously, it's a USB mic. Alright, now what you're going to do is, um, if you want to record one channel, like, you know, guitar, um, there's, you know, that's set to, that's set to record on input 2. Um, what you can do, though, is if you want to record um, vocals, it's input 1. So you create that, and if I had a microphone plugged into my fast track, that would work. Um, but I don't. And then basically to do what I do, uh, it's input 2, which is your guitar input on your fast track. Now you see that, turn that off, put this on, you'll get sound. Um, and I mean, you can mess with it, you can add inserts like, um, let's see monitor to stereo. Alright. Uh, and I mean, you can mess around with these. They're just fun to use. Let's turn this up a little bit. Um, turn it up. But I mean, basically, you get the idea of that. Um, I mean, like... What I'm using right now on this one is actually, um, it is, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Um, oh, it was, um, click on the, tar the top tier here, uh, right above your little insert gauge. And um, if it's set to electric guitar, complete rigs, metal, and it's American metal. I mean, it's kind of shitty. Oh, that's not working because it's not on. It's kind of shitty. I mean, obviously, with computer distortion and stuff like that, you're not going to get effects that you would with a real head or a cab and stuff. I mean, I have my setup right next to me, but for the sake of this, I'm just using a direct input and not a mixer. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And hopefully you can figure this out for yourself. It's not hard. Um, one thing I didn't cover that I want to make sure of, um, what you want to do is if you have studio monitors plugged in to your fast track, you're going to want to make sure that your output device is your fast track. And if obviously you're recording through your fast track, you're going to make sure it's M audio fast track. Um, like I said, monitors connected to your fast track output is M audio. Um, but yeah, that's about it, and hopefully you can figure it out from there. It's not too hard. Um, one program that I personally am choosing to stay away from for the time being is Pro Tools, just because I've gotten so comfortable in my element with logic that it's just weird. Um, but yeah, that concludes it, and uh, if you didn't learn anything, feel free to yell at me, you know, troll the comments, just have fun. And uh, thanks for checking out yourdead.com. All right.